Starting with strawberries, take a quick minute to talk about them. We've walked by them so many times in the garden and they are producing like crazy this year. This is probably the fourth big picking and soon I'll run out of the big strawberries and they'll all be small, but there's tons of them and I love strawberries in the winter time. So I am, I've washed them, they're sitting in a jar till I had a minute in the fridge which is supposed to extend the life. I'm testing that theory. I'm cutting the tops off, cutting them up after they were, they were washed before they went in the jar. And then they'll I'll flatten the bag, get all the air out, and put them in the freezer. And this winter, I will be making jam. I will be really happy. This is what they look like when they're finished. And I can break up that bag when I'm ready to make some fresh jam and just cook half the bag. thought there was another bag in there, but it ended up being cherries. And this is last year's raspberries. Raspberries are not my favorite, and I had a lot of raspberries last year. This year I don't, so maybe I'll mix them in because they're, they're not too bad. Not too crazy of burnt. They look pretty good. You know, I can also reuse them in uh, jelly, wild berry jelly. Really want to learn how to get the seeds out of them. So I am heading out to the garden and we'll walk to the strawberry patch and harvest some chamomile tea. Gave the strawberry tops to the chickens. Hopefully they clean them all up because I don't really want to be squishing strawberries when I'm in there working. Give some to the ducks. They come on this side of the yard and visit the chickens usually later in the day. Ducks on one side, chickens on the other, hanging out, speaking a different language. Here's the strawberry patch. I've talked about moving the strawberries, but I can't find anywhere to move the strawberries to. So until I find a good spot, see they're just loaded. Like I can't even keep up with picking them. I've tried on some days picking in the morning and in the evening when I'm doing birds, but just Pick as many as I can pick. Try to keep bowls out here so when I have a minute, I have something to put the strawberries in. Strawberries that I moved from the fence line, I put behind the shed. Temporary spot back there. But I've recently moved them out. We need that spot back there for storage. So we got strawberry pots. And I also planted some in the neighbor's garden over there. I'm going to get over there eventually and do some filming because I put that garden in over there, front and back, and by the road. So eventually we'll get over there and look at it. Chamomile. When I'm harvesting chamomile, I flick off the tops, kind of pinch them off. And I'm looking for the smaller ones have better flavor. So just starting to open or not quite open yet, not the big already, you know, big ones, which I have a lot of. It's kind of a, just a pinch. That's a big one, I don't want a big one. And for small ones. Everybody knows you can't really hold a camera and do a good job. So I'm going to turn you guys off. I'll show you what I have when I'm finished. That 
that was the first spot that's underneath the grapevine. Now I'm headed over there. This one's on this side are looking kind of burnt. Eventually I'll pull them out when they start looking bad. They're annuals, they recede. That's what I have so far. It's not a lot, but you need to do it often. And you get to enjoy the garden while you're doing it. And I did some weeding, so I have like one dirty hand, one picking hand. Just look how pretty this is. That's my kitchen window up there, up top. And I can see these gardens when I'm working in the kitchen when I was doing strawberries a minute ago. And it just really looks beautiful. And to get gardens in my view, I have to get out away from the building. So I need to fatten up that garden a lot. I will be working on it. And over here, I started working. I was talking about it in my last video. But I did actually do it. I dug up this little corner. I have echinacea. Getting ready to bloom. And I do know the names of these. This plant. It'll come to me. Hit or miss with the names and that is never going to change. But I bought one of these for like 20 bucks at, I think, Walmart three, four years ago. And the one that I bought bloomed and looked beautiful and did not come back. But it receded. And it receded a lot. Enough for me to be able to share it with my neighbor over there that I put a garden in for. I don't know if this came back. I didn't look. One of these was in the greenhouse, just in case for some reason the um, ones outside didn't come back, I would have one. And it did bloom. I've cut it back when I replanted it. They're the same thing, but you can't really tell. Tropicana. So I'm kind of going with the reds in this area. And this is a hibiscus. I moved it out of the duck pen. Duck pen didn't used to be a duck pen. It used to be my garden. I got uh, cherry tomatoes out of the little greenhouse. I have some potted things in there. Yeah, look at me going for a garden tour instead of what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, that one back there. The corner. So I have some in pots. I like having extras around. And I have some in the ground. Puppers, same thing. I have some in pots. I might gift some of these things to my dad for his birthday. He was here for Father's Day. When I was inside doing strawberries, that was my lunch break. And I'm still eating leftovers from Father's Day barbecue. This I need to pull up. It's an amaranth. Can't really tell the color, but I can tell. It'll color up later. I pulled a sunflower out of here because they're mixed in with my puppers. African daisies. This used to be the front of my old garden. It used to be my flower garden. So there's things coming up. Thank God. You know, those are the flowers I cried because they buried them. So if some of them come up, I'm just thrilled. So I got to get some of these sunflowers away from these puppers. Looks like the base of the sunflower is quite a bit away from the peppers. But shade is what I'm worried about. So I don't really want to pull them, but I did move one. And that'll turn red later. I think I might put it in a pot and just have it around the yard till I have that hole it needs to be filled later in the season. I'm oh, tripping off my step. Okay, 
Back to what I'm supposed to be doing. Chamomile. A bunch of chamomile in here. So my goal with this side was shorter flowers in the front and sweet peas, sunflowers, cosmos along this fence. Cosmos is getting ready to bloom. It's got bud on it. I have one sweet pea climbing the fence and this one over here I need to get it and pull it through the fence when I'm done talking to you. So here I go, back to work. I still have these left over from last year that I use for my hair. When I get a bunch of new ones, I use the old ones for my hair. It brings out the highlights. We're at the front of the deck now. So I have a lot of chamomile in here, but I also have white elysium in a lot of spots where the chamomile is. Kind of mixed in there. Where'd my bowl go? Here it is. That's what I ended up with. It's a pretty good haul. I'll let them dry and they'll end up in a jar. I pulled out another one. Too big and overgrown. I'm going to walk over by the logs, the hollyhocks blooming. Baby bunnies are getting big. I have chased a bunch of them out of the flowers on accident when I'm watering. They do not like to be watered. So I believe there's a nest in my back door neighbor. He has a garden on, on the side of his building. And I believe that's where they were living. Four of them darted out of there when I was watering the other day. But they're getting big. Also had some around the greenhouse dart out when I was watering. Garden tour. This was the um, old winter garden that I've been pulling out because I have to plant now. And you can see it was really thick and there were a bunch of butterflies in it in the last video moths. I don't take out what I don't have to take out because I like the flowers. That purple flower in the middle, that is going to recede and I'll probably have it in the sale next year. Why not? It's a lot of work, but why not? Once you get it in your garden, it recedes. Daisies in the back are starting to bloom. Shasta's and the purple ones, Echinacea. And there's some wild ones did take back there. I transplanted them and they did take. I planted grapes along that fence too. But here's the hollyhocks. Last year the hollyhocks did not bloom. They started coming up, the weather got really hot and it just stunted their growth. They looked horrible and only a few of my hollyhocks came back this year. I'm hunting for baby ones everywhere, and I planted seeds. The seeds are old, so I don't know. All I can do is try. I have something on my deck I can plant in this log. I have started adding things, but the stuff I added on the other side, so I'm not gonna go back over there. But I've been working over here and taking some of the things from the um, other side of the log and moving them over here because just, I need a path. So the things that were in the way of the path I'm taking out and moving. So this is one of the things I moved. Then we have this 
ditch here that's full of water that was full of flowers that were looking terrible. These have already been moved. Next year they'll be beautiful. This year they're just sad. It's okay. I saved them. Got a few more to go. So this is what I was doing before lunch. And yesterday. So I have to be pulled up and moved. Yesterday I put some in pots because I just didn't want to dig up any more dirt. They're not going in pre-existing gardens because all my pre-existing gardens are gone. They got buried or they got taken over by ducks and chickens. So here, they added over there a lot of stuff and that looks really nice. So I want to keep this moving this way. Pull this garden out and pull the other side out. I misspoke. It's not that I don't have any pre-existing gardens. I don't have any space. They're full until later, until stuff burns out. And then I do need stuff in pots that are blooming or getting ready to bloom to fill in holes. The stuff I'm moving today won't look good this year. I love this. This is turning out really nice. So I guess I need to dig grass up around that new start there. This is what I have today. Beautiful. It tastes better when it's fresh. This is a lame start from a while ago. Make sure that if you're drying something to put in a jar that it is completely dry or it will mildew and ruin the whole jar. I know that from experience with many things I thought was dry and wasn't. Be patient and be kind to yourself when things don't work out. I'm going to start another jar of strawberries. It took two jars to fill up a quart size of black baggie. I'm not going to wash them this time though. I'm going to leave them dry. I'm going to make sure the jars are all the way dry. Strawberries are dry, freshly picked. And I'll wash them when I cut them up. Because, you know, anything wet is going to go bad faster than anything dry.